fall is here. A time when water hogs and golf carts are retired for the season and replaced with Zambonis. But first, upon the lush greens and quaint fairways, Canucks, past and present, unite for the most anticipated round of the year to support the Canucks for Kids Fund, to commend a rich history, and to celebrate a man by the name of Jake. For the 30th season, this is the Milford. Hello everyone, Joey Kenward here at the beautiful Northview Golf and Country Club site of the Jake Milford Tournament. We're keeping a close watch out on a few different people on this momentous occasion. How about head coach John Tortorella, his first time at Northview, entering this tournament with a healthy 36 handicap. Another John to watch out for, John Milford, here all the way from Calgary, Alberta. Let's now head down to the first tee where Kathy Anderson has the call. Bo Horvat coming off a plus two showing at Grizzly Flats in Golden Tee. And he played a C1. We have a new camera guy. He likes it. Yeah! Torts with a little bump and run. The wind was shifting a bit. I, I was looking at the, the grain of the green. Henrik Sedin on 14 for double hat trick. I think the fact that I had a cat today really helped me. She did all the tough uh, reads, and I don't even know why, why Dan is called in sick. Danny fever, I, I call it. Garrison on five. Some people like to call that a slice. I call that uh, an intentional fade. The media just can't get enough Rhoda today. Daniel Sedin without a caddy. In your life. It was beautiful, set up everything. Today's coverage brought to you by Endeavor Silver as we take you to 10 with Hasselhoff in the beach. Oh, that's Eddie Lack. And he's still away. Uh, I was with uh, Eddie Lack and um, it was a disaster. He killed us out there. You got a member's bounce on uh, 16. I don't even think I played a 16 today. <laughs> <laughs> we skipped 16. You had a mental shift after 7, Bo. What happened? On the AT, I, um, I took advantage of the ball washer just to uh, you know get more distance and maybe a little more backspin when I hit the green. I thought the greens were a little hard today. Uh, you know, I was out on the practice rounds a little earlier this week and uh, you know they were playing a little slower than they were today. For a good player like myself, it wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Yeah, I was very professional, very patient with my shot. I think uh, I handled myself well. I just stepped up for the ball. I just... Uh, Felt it and I just swung, man. I just wanted to put the ball in the hole. Uh, didn't look at the slope, didn't look at the curve, nothing, just put it in. Do you look at the leaderboard at all throughout the day? Or? I look at it at the last hole to see what I need to get to, to win the tournament. And, uh, you know, I was in the lead by a couple strokes, so, you know, all I need to do is par out, and that's what I did. Well, folks, we're totaling up today's net profit, and more than $175,000 was raised in support of the Canucks for Kids Fund. That wraps up our coverage from Northview Golf and Country Club. Thanks for tuning in.